Thanks, Jackie. Now, Western New York reported another increase in the percentage of COVID positive 19 cases, which now stands at 1.8% as of yesterday. It's part of a very small increase in the number of cases throughout the region over the past few days. So tonight we're finding out where they're coming from and if there's any cause for concern. Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. One day after Governor Andrew Cuomo issued what he called a caution flag for Western New York, the region saw another increase in the percent positive rate on Monday at 1.8%. The percent positive rate in Western New York is currently the highest in the state regionally. The UB's chief of infectious disease, Dr. Thomas Russo, said this is not a cause for panic. In Western New York, we're a bit higher than the rest of the state, but we still have a very low test positivity rate. We've been ranging from 1.1 to 1.4 over the last five weeks. Um, and so that is a, a you know, encouraging rate. Um, I think we could be doing better, um, but I don't think the sky is falling and I don't think there's any grounds for panic. At Russo said it's important to pay attention to the seven day rolling average of positive tests, which is 1.5%, which he says is low. I think that these numbers, though, serve a purpose to a degree that it's a bit of a wake up call to remind people that we control our, our new coronavirus cases. So where are these cases coming from? On Monday, Governor Cuomo listed a number of reasons for the uptick. Separate clusters at a steel plant in Erie County, the Fieldbrook Foods processing plant in Dunkirk, and two unnamed nursing homes. Two on your side has been working to get more information from the Erie County Department of Health, including which steel plant the governor was referring to. We have not been given more information despite the multiple requests we have made. We have filed a Freedom of Information request to obtain it. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.